Hi YouTube, welcome to the MA Academy Python Programming Challenges tutorial series. In this tutorial, you will see how to read a binary file. What do I mean a binary file? So in here, this is a binary file. It's a file that contains binary data. So we will see how to convert this file into plain text English. So all this data you can see, it's a binary, 0 and 1, and we will see how to change it or transform it into plain text English. The name of this file is binary underscore file dot txt. So let's get started. Now, like all uh, the challenges in this series, I will go from the basics until I reach the point where I show you guys how to do it. So the first thing in here, I'm creating a variable called x, and I am entering this binary data, which is zero, 1, 1, then four zeros, and then one. So when I say print, it gives me the data which I've entered or which I assigned to this variable x. Next, I'm doing the same thing, but I'm creating this variable called print text, and I'm using this function called chr. So if you have watched my previous tutorials, I have explained this hr function in detail. So it converts ASCII into plain text English or the integer values into their equivalent uh, ASCII values. Uh, so whatever the ASCII value represents, it shows its uh, uh, alphabets. So if it's 65, it's A. If it's 96, it's A capital, I think, something like that. Uh, so if you don't know this, watch my previous tutorials and you will find it. So it takes, in this case, it takes two parameters. One is the digit or the number that we want to convert into plain text English. And the second one is the base. Since in here, I assigned this number or in here, I assigned this, uh, these digits to X and I surrounded it with single quotes. These are string, but this CHR function, it takes an integer. So what I'm doing in here, I am using the INT function. So what it does, it converts this string in here into integer. Currently, it's of type string because you're surrounding it with these quotes. So this integer, this INT, what it does, it converts it into integer. So this x is converted into an integer because this chr function, it takes an integer. Next, this two in here. So chr takes two parameters in this case. One is x, which is the binary data. And second one, this parameter, this is the base. So binary, it's base two. That's why I'm specifying two in here. So then I say print plain text. So in here, you can see that this value, it stands for or it represents the character a the lowercase a but what we are interested in is reading that file right so in here i'm using with open so open what this file as i said the name of this file in here it's binary underscore file dot txt so i'm saying with open this file so this open function it takes two parameters one this is the name of the file and the second one this is r so r stands for read so what we're interested in is reading that file, right? We are not writing it or we are not appending anything to that file. We are reading it. That's why we specify R. Then as if. So what does this as if mean? So it means that from now on, instead of using this name, we will use the F. So this F stands for this file in here. So whenever we want to work with this file, we can just type in F. It's shorter, small. You can use it. Um, you can use anything that you want, a name, whatever. Uh, but I'm using F because it's uh, shorter, simpler. And this is the file handler. From now on, this f will represent this file. So in here, I'm creating this variable called data. And then I'm saying f dot read. So f represents this file, right? As I said, this binary underscore file dot txt. And then dot read. So I'm using the dot read method. What does it mean? It means this file that this f represents, which in this case is this file, binary underscore the binary underscore file dot txt so read it so in this case it reads this file and assigns it to this variable called data next i'm printing it so print data it shows the data it is these two contents are the same so this is the file this is reading it so this is how you can read a file next i'm doing the same thing the first line is the same the second file in here this variable Instead of saying f dot read, I'm entering this eight in here. So what does this eight mean? It means read eight uh, bits at a time, or read eight characters at a time. So 
So in here, we can see that, uh, let me open this file. So what does it do? It reads eight, char eight characters at a time. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the first time, it reads these eight characters. Next, it moves to this eight characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. So every time, it reads eight characters at a time. So why do we need eight characters? Because eight characters, it's one byte. And white, one byte is like two, it, we can represent 255 or 256 distinct values using eight bits or one byte. So in here, you are reading eight bits and we are saying while data, so this data, this is, this contains the whole file, all of the files. So in this case, it only contains eight characters. So this, when I say data, data in here, this is just the first eight characters in here. So it says while data is not equal to empty. So this empty in here, it means while data is not uh, is not empty. So why does it, when, the, when will it say empty? When it reaches the end of the file. So currently it's not at the end of the file, right? Because it contains these eight characters. So it will keep reading eight character at a time until it reaches in here when there is no more characters. And when there is no more character, it will exit out of this while loop and print it. But currently, sorry, it will exit out of this loop and that's it. Um, so in here, currently it has eight characters. Then we create this variable called plain text. And we are saying again, the same as before, the CHR function we are using, we are converting this data. So previously we entered this X in here, right? This time you are not reading X, you are saying data. So as I said, data in here stands for the first eight characters. So it's the same as entering these eight characters. So four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's like entering these eight characters. So the first time this uh, data represents those eight characters. Then we have to specify the base, which in this case is base two. Then we are saying plain print, plain text. So plain text holds the character M. The first time, the first eight bits in here, this is the character M. And then end, again, we don't want to uh, specify a delimiter or anything like that so it's currently empty but if you want to enter something like a space and run it so in here you can see that all these values are separated by a space we don't want those things so we just want to run it with empty we leave it empty so you can see that um, it's printed on a single line and then we say data is equal to what f dot read so again this line in here and this is similar so what does this mean it means like once you read this eight characters, then move in here, then read the next eight characters. So in here, once it's done with these eight characters, it moves to these eight characters in here. So once that once that is done, then read eight. So again, we see that data is not empty because it contains it, then it goes through it. Then it goes through again, 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 as long as we don't read the end of the file. So once we reach uh, the end of the file, there's nothing, then it will exit out of this while loop and the program will finish. So this is how you can read a binary file. And uh, this is it for this one, guys. If you have any questions, suggestions, or recommendations, um, feel free to put it in the comment section below. And if you want to know how to read a hex file or a ASCII file, things like that, I've also created tutorials for that. Watch my uh, uh, previous tutorials and those, uh, and those uh, two or three uh, tutorials. I've covered all those things. And if you found this tutorial useful, make sure to share it with your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one.